following is a clip from Art in Design Fundamentals, a DVD by Lee Griffiths, available on engraver.com. No scroll is complete without its leaves. So let's dress up these scrolls that we've learned to draw by placing some leaves in. Leaves are comprised of three different types of lines. Here's a very simple shape of leaf up here. And let me point out the different lines that comprise this leaf. Hook lines. This is a hook line. This is what I call a hook line. Hook lines are shaped like this. And they can have a very strong, tight hook at the end, almost like a fish hook. Or they can be a long, lazy, gentle curve, like this. They can go in any direction. They can go, they can curve counterclockwise, clockwise, down, up, doesn't matter. What we're looking at here is simply the shape. The shape is a gentle curve or a hook. The next line we need to talk about is the S line. The S can be a nice gentle curve. It can be strongly hooked on one end or on both ends. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's the shape of a letter S, and it can go in any direction, upside down, any way you want to form it. Just look at the general shape. That's the main thing. It needs to be an S. Now the third line, the last line of the three amigos is what I call the scroll line which is really nothing more than a hook line that keeps going around and around and forms a scroll. Here would be a leaf that would have an example of a couple of scroll lines in it. Scroll line is the beginning of this leaf. Here is a hook line. Here is an S line. And then we can come down with another hook line and a tiny scroll line right there. We come down with an S and finish it off with a little bit of a hook line right here. Here is my scroll line for this leaf. And here is another scroll line at the back side of the leaf. Let's look at a few more examples, talk about where these are typically found. 